I was so perplexed by the number of people that were approaching me who, who had IBS. And so I decided to look into it more. And as I said, it, it became apparent that a lot of these people, not all of them, but a lot of these people had had antibiotics and or, or and had a gut infection like food poisoning. And I don't know if you're aware, but the, the bacteria in our intestines, our beneficial commensal bacteria, carries out lots of functions. It's vital for our health. If we didn't have this bacteria, we would just drop dead. It's as simple as that. So this beneficial bacteria does, amongst other things, help to digest our food, helps to absorb more nutrients from our food, helps to manufacture important vitamins and hormones, helps to crowd out pathogenic strains of disease-causing bacteria, fungi and yeasts, helps to reduce gut infections and, of course, helps to support our immune system because, remember, around 70% of our immune system is located in our intestines, around 90% of our uh, happy hormone, serotonin, the neurotransmitter, is manufactured in our intestines. So it's no surprise that people who do have IBS, uh, quite apart from the, 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 the pain, the irregular bowel movements, the bloating, also have very low mood and that could be the connection between the serotonin neurotransmitter that's produced in the gut and um, and um, the, the, the IBS.